Welcome to the Aardvarkcompare.com YouTube channel for travel tips. I'm Jonathan Breeze, the CEO, and today's topic, pre-existing medical condition trip insurance, a review. Well, pre-existing medical condition holiday insurance can cause some travelers concern. We are here to help. Now, many of us have a pre-existing medical condition and still want to buy trip insurance that covers our medical condition. The good news is that providing the medical condition is stable and the trip insurance is booked quickly, holiday insurance with full medical coverage should be available. Now, the initial concern that we have is whether or not the medical condition that we have is medically stable. So medically stable means no changes within the last 60 to 100 days, depending on the particular travel insurer plan that you choose. So as you can imagine, a plan that only required medical stability for 60 days is far more traveler friendly than one that looks back 180 days. We are always a little nervous about plans that have a look back period of 180 days. These are fine if the traveler is in great health and has not visited a doctor for a long time, but for those of us who need to seek medical assistance more frequently, 180 days is a long time to be able to remember if there were any changes to a prescription or a slight change in the underlying medical condition. So normal trip insurance policy exclusions. Every travel insurance policy will have a list of activities and conditions that are excluded from coverage. So when we get to the pre-existing condition exclusion, the language looks like this. So due to a pre-existing condition as defined in the policy, the pre-existing condition limitation does not apply to the emergency medical evacuation or return to remains coverage. Well, note that a pre-existing condition will not prevent you from taking advantage of any emergency medical evacuation cover. That's good news. The insurance carrier isn't going to leave you behind in the event that your pre-ex condition requires a medical evacuation. But what is a pre-existing medical condition? Well, here's what ITI has to say about a pre-ex medical condition. The company will not pay for any expense as a result of any illness, disease or other condition during the 60 days immediately prior to the date your coverage is effective for which you or your travelling companion, business partner or family member scheduled or booked to travel with you. So one, received or received a recommendation for a test, examination or medical treatment for a condition which first manifested itself, worsened or became acute or had symptoms which would have prompted a reasonable person to seek diagnosis, care or treatment or two, took or received a prescription for drugs or medicine. Now, item two of this exclusion does not apply to a condition which is treated or controlled solely through the taking of prescription drugs or medicine and remains treated or controlled without any adjustment or change in the required prescription throughout the 60 days before coverage is effective under this policy. So, in the trip insurance policy language we see above, the look back period is only 60 days. That is the period we need to concern ourselves with in terms of any pre-ex medical condition. That's one of the reasons we like trip insurance policies that have a short look back period. It makes it much easier for the traveler to get coverage if the look back period is short. So this looks pretty friendly. Many travelers are worried that if they have any form of medical issue at all, they cannot buy travel medical insurance. Well, clearly this is not the case. Provided that your symptoms have not worsened or your medication changed inside 60 days, then you are good to go. You do have a pre-existing condition as far as the travel insurance carrier is concerned. Correction, you do not have a pre-existing condition as far as the travel insurer is concerned if your condition has not worsened in the last 60 days. Okay, so where we see this most often is when a traveler has been on the same hypertension medication for years and is worried that they will not be able to buy travel medical insurance. So, well, as clear from the above, a stable medical condition that has not required a change in medication is simply not considered a pre-existing condition. As such, they can buy trip insurance safe in the knowledge that they have full medical protection for their underlying medical condition. So when does the look back period actually begin? So now that we know that we have to worry about 60 days for the look back period, we need to figure out when the look back period actually begins. So where does a traveler need to start counting back from? So the date of the trip insurance quote, no. Date of the date of the, your departure, again, no. How about the date of the return? So you'd be wrong again. Our look back period begins on the date that your trip insurance policy is live. Your trip insurance policy will go live at midnight of the evening that you would buy your policy. So if you bought a policy on January 13th, for instance, your policy would go live at one minute past midnight on January 14th. Your look back period would be 60 days before January 14th, the date that your policy is effective. So what can you do if you do have a medical condition? Well, sadly, some people will have a 
pre-existing medical condition within the look-back period, or they will experience a recent injury or illness. Now, how then does a traveller buy travel medical insurance that will cover this pre-ex medical condition? Well, there are two ways. The first, which seems a little illogical, is to wait until the 60-day window has passed before you buy travel insurance. If a traveller has already paid a deposit, then this can leave an extended period of time without trip cancellation protection in place. Now, many of us would feel uncomfortable without cancellation insurance for so long. Perhaps to wait and book the trip until the 60-day period is clear. That way, travel insurance can be bought at the same time as the trip deposit and the insurer will no longer consider the medical condition as relevant. This is all a little too clever. We would prefer to have a pre-existing medical condition waiver. So a waiver of pre-existing medical condition exclusion. The insurer can waive the right to exclude your medical condition. By waive, we mean that they will relinquish or give up their right to exclude the medical condition from cover if the insurance carrier waives that exclusion. Then your medical condition is no longer excluded from cover. You have full medical protection. This is excellent news for the traveller looking to buy travel medical cover. Here is the policy language that ITI uses when describing its waiver of pre-existing medical condition. So the exclusion for pre-existing condition will be waived provided your payment or deposit for this policy and enrolment form are received within 20 days of the date your initial payment or deposit for your trip is received and you are not disabled from travel at the time your premium is paid. So even if you do have a pre-existing medical condition, you can still get travel medical insurance protection for it if you book quickly. This period of time that is available for you to book uh, with your travel insurance policy is known as the time sensitive period. It is critical that a traveller with a pre-existing medical condition understands the time sensitive period. So okay, so we have a traveller with a pre-existing medical condition. This medical condition would ordinarily be excluded from coverage by the travel insurance carrier. But the insurance carrier will offer a waiver of this exclusion if you buy travel insurance quickly after your initial trip deposit. Now this is critical. You must buy your travel insurance very soon after you've paid your initial trip deposit. The length of time you have to buy the policy is known as the time sensitive period. Now in the case of ITI Travel SE policy, the trip insurance must be paid for inside of 20 days of your initial trip deposit. Now many people, particularly those who book cruise vacations, book a long time in advance and only pay a small deposit when they book the vacation. So you must buy travel insurance that incorporates a waiver for pre-existing conditions even if the deposit is tiny. The amount of initial trip deposit is of no interest to the travel insurance carrier. What they care about is the date of the deposit. That is when the clock starts in terms of you having the ability to get the medical condition exclusion waived. So every, does every trip insurance policy cover a pre-existing medical condition? Well, the answer is no. There is a significant difference between the type of cover that is offered from different travel insurance carriers. It is essential to know the type of coverage that is available to you in order to assess whether the policy is of good value or not. Now, over the years, we have assessed countless trip insurance policies and see a wide range in the quality of coverage. By far and away, the worst type of cover we see comes from travel companies like Expedia. Now please do not rely on Expedia travel insurance to offer protection for any pre-existing medical condition. Airline trip insurance tends to be pretty awful too. So take the time to review a policy document if you choose to buy your travel insurance from an airline like Delta or United. Now cruise line travel insurance sold by companies like Carnival and Norwegian are slightly better but not by much. Please do make any assumptions, sorry, please do not make any assumptions about the type and cost of pre-existing medical condition travel insurance. All policies are different. Some have no cover for pre-existing conditions at all. So Aardvark Compare, a travel insurance marketplace. As always at Aardvark Compare, we recommend that a traveller consider travel insurance. You can get an anonymous quote in seconds and compare top travel insurance plans from many of the largest US travel insurers. You will save time and money finding the right travel plan for your needs. The prices you see are the same as if you went to each and every trip insurance carrier directly. We can guarantee that you will not find the same travel insurance policy at a lower price. Anti-discrimination laws forbid such marking up or discounting of travel insurance policies, so we are certain in our promise of best value. 
We make it as clear as possible for you to be able to assess each policy on the relative merits. Price is clearly displayed, as are all the significant policy benefits. Because of the, the importance of pre-existing conditions to our customers, we place this particular type of trip insurance concern into our own section within our quote boxes. Now, irrespective as to your medical condition, there is probably a trip insurance plan that can cover you. There may well be some confusion for you if this is not something you have dealt with frequently. Please do not worry. We have travel insurance agents who can guide you. Just talk with us before you buy your policy and let us help you with your options. Safe travels.